Hey there, this is Scott. Today we're going to be talking about wallpaper, and not in the traditional sense, but things that get lost in your home and can turn into visual wallpaper. Since 1988, I have had one passion only. That is to exceed customer expectations in every facet of the real estate transaction. Our attention to detail and negotiating skills make us the most sought after realtors in our marketplace. Real estate is an industry that's now technologically driven. We at the Sack and Stone team will always be cutting edge. Hey clients, friends, family, this is Scott with the Sack and Stone team coming to you with episode three of the Sack and Stone team show. I wanna shout out first of all and say I'm so grateful and excited that you've given us so many great comments and feedback about how much you're loving the show. We're gonna keep doing it and those comments just inspire us. So today I wanna to talk to you about wallpaper. And what do I mean by wallpaper? Well, not in the traditional sense that you're thinking about, but I wanna to talk to you about wallpaper in the sense of things that are in and around your house that have just kind of become part of the background, in other words, wallpaper, that you might not even know about. We talk about this with clients when we're staging their homes to get ready to sell, how there's so many things that are in their house, they don't even realize they're there anymore, but a buyer might just zoom in on those things and they kind of add to the clutter and can diminish the appeal to the house. Why is this important to talk about today? Well, the holidays are coming. And what happens around the holidays? People entertain. You're gonna have people coming to visit your home that may not have been there for a while, whether you're entertaining, having a big group, or maybe family just coming over for Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, etc. And often when you've got people that haven't been in the house for a while, they tend to zoom in on things that have become wallpaper to you. So what am I talking about? Well, I was in a house the other day. They had newspapers and magazines that were about four years old. They were in a small little stack. And in fact, there was a couple little stacks just in a little corner. One was on an ottoman, one was on a little um, coffee table in the corner of the family room. They weren't hoarders, the house wasn't messy, but it was just something that had kind of just begun to live there and they didn't even realize it. And we come in with a fresh eye and we kind of just edit each room in the house and look at these things that have become, as I said, wallpaper. Sometimes it's a little stack of paid bills. It's some things that you were gonna get to at a later date. You just don't know where these things are. So my question for you, and a little, uh, kind of a fun little challenge is, take a fresh eye, walk through your home from the entry hall and say, I've never been in this home before, or I haven't been in this home in many years, and stand, kind of analyze what's going on in each room and take a look around and see, does this A, fit the decor of the home? Is it something that has been sitting here for a long period of time that you don't need anymore? Hopefully I'm kind of giving you kind of a feel for what to do. It's kind of a fun little game. I've done it in my own home, you know, and I found little items that I thought, oh my goodness, I haven't looked at that in a year, but it's not obtrusive. But again, it's something that doesn't need to be there. And it kind of sparks me to do a little bit of, I'm not gonna say spring cleaning, but let's just say pre-holiday cleaning and get the house ready so we can focus on friends, family, and we've got a nice fresh environment. I hope that kind of gives you some ideas today. Always reach out with us with your comments and feedback because this show is all about you and we want to provide content that's relevant to you, your life, in your home, whether you ever sell or not. Thanks for watching. At the Sack and Stone team, our clients are always number one. Get in touch with us with a call, text, or email and stay in touch. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Hey there, friends, family, clients. This is Scott Sacken of the Sack and Stone team coming to you with episode three of the Sack and Stone team show. And before I begin with today's content, I wanna give a great big shout out to all of you who've given us great content and feedback. So 